uh, hardware unboxed. Oh, look, the, the first Google search. Look at that. That's fucking crazy. Oh, two days ago. Is there any, uh, Look at all these fucking Reddit threads. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. What's his name? I couldn't I couldn't read the name. Blessed something is now following. Thanks so much. I couldn't read the name though. Um uh, hello, Execute played. Hello motherfucker. Yes. What's up, man? Uh, they have said we will revisit should your editorial direction change, dude. That's fucking funny, dude. That's hilarious. That's fucking ridiculous. Um, I'm surprised Hardware Unbox just straight up leaked this. I like, like, I want to know the full story. I want to know. Oh, Gamers Nexus commented. Good, good. We already know what Linus said. Oh, did, had anyone in the chat not know what Linus said? Um, overclocking AMD Ryzen with all the CCX optimizations based on Silicon Valley. Oh my God, dude! Overclocking Zen. I, I was. You can you can ask the Discord after, dude. Is my stream lagging at all to you guys? Like, is it, is it choppy? Um, I was, oh, okay, that's weird. Kinda, it kinda looks choppy on my end. Strange. Huh, okay. Um, uh, I was so upset the day after I got my 5950X that I had to spend an entire day tweaking it that I told anybody if they suggest AMD products in my Discord, I'm gonna ban them. That's how fucking upset I was, dude. I was so fucking upset that I had to lose all this cyberpunk time dicking around with this fucking chip, dude. I was so fucking upset. How, like, be because I want the fastest though, right? It it's because, no, not even close, dude. The, like, hang on, hang on. Let's, um, you know what? Let's stay. Let's stay on one topic at a time. Let's do. Let's do this first. We'll do 5950x after. Um, yeah, I want to see what Gamers Nexus said here. Uh, not okay for them to be saying anything like that. Okay, that's. This is. A, this is a lot more of a. This is a lot more of a tame response. That's good. That's fine. But it it does feel personal. Do you guys know how Linus Linus was like Linus was like um um out of character. It was it was like that Brian guy, whatever his name was. It was out of character, and it felt personal. I would agree with this. It seems personal. Um. <laughs> Um, like, the reason why I think it feels personal is because Hardware Unboxed released the email right away. Like, they were salty about it. But, like, the email was salty. Like, something is going on. Like, like, people, uh, in my opinion, people shouldn't be, shouldn't be, like, did you guys see uh, Jay's Two Cents response? Very fucking immature, dude. Holy shit. Jay's two cents. Twitter, extremely fucking immature, dude. Oh, he made a video. Of course he did, dude. This guy is the king of fucking clickbait, dude. Oh my god. I I don't want to watch the video on stream. Has anyone watched this one yet? Fuck, I want to watch this now. God damn it. The fucking clickbait, dude. The fucking clickbait. I literally don't watch any of this guy's videos, but I want to wa fucking watch this one. The drama, dude. The drama. What does he say, oh fucko? He, th this guy, 
He made uh, this guy. This guy jumps the gun way. This guy thinks he has way too much power than he actually does, and he jumps the gun way too much. He's he thinks he's a Linus, but he's not. He's more of like a hard. He's not even in the hardware on box level. He just has a bunch of subs. You know what I mean? But no one gives a shit about his opinion. Even in the industry, no one gives a shit about his opinion, dude. Like like no one. No one even regards Jay's two cents as like an authority type figure at all, dude. At all. Um. Oh fuck! Oh, what does he say in there, dude? How can I get in the Discord? You have to sub, my man. Uh. I know, Robo Jeff. Yeah, dude. I click on that video and he wins. Yes, yes. I, I won't click on it. I won't. I will. I will refuse. Or uh, ah, fuck. Somebody has to tell me what he says in there. So gamers next had a good response. Linus's response was really well too. Um, man, I I I I have such a man crush on Linus. Linus does not get enough credit. Like like like. Of all, even though Linus doesn't do any kind of... Okay, this, like, this guy has definitely lost touch with hardware. He doesn't really do any in-depth reviews. He reads off a teleprompter. He has scripts. He's more... This guy has become more of a influencer than a reviewer now. But when it comes to morals and ethical guidelines and what's the word here when it when it comes to when it when it comes to customer rights uh, or consumer rights con when it comes to consumer rights this guy is the best friend that we have like like he he defends right to repair more than anybody else um he defends uh he's like our anti-consumerism like he fights all that shit dude like he probably does so much fucking shit in the background that we have no idea about and um he, he always tells companies how it is he doesn't fuck around dude he tells them ex when they're being garbage he tells them that they're being garbage right to their fucking faces like Thank God that this guy is is the king of the tech media. Like, thank God, dude. We would be so fucked without Linus, dude. And uh, if you say negative things about him, like like um, he he doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't play games. Fire. That's all fair. I I would agree with that. That this guy is definitely more of like a a social media presence now. But. When it comes down to the nitty gritty, he defends our rights every single fucking time, dude. Every damn time. So like, like, definitely don't unsub from Linus, dude. He's a good guy. He's a really good, really good fucking guy. Um, let me just catch up on the chat here. Uh, and 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 then in in, in Linus's uh in, in uh, the Wan show, Linus's Wan show. He goes, uh, what did he say? He's like, even though he, even though he, he was talking about how it's, uh, distasteful and, uh, uh, sup, Goose Cartel. <laughs> What's up, man? So even though, um, Linus was like, distasteful, bad demeanor, all that shit, he, uh, every few minutes that he was talking on Wan Show, he was like, um, just wait for a response because it feels personal. We like, 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 precision cheer. Give me a sec, precision. Um, sup, dude? Yeah, yeah, sup. Thanks for the bits, my man. Um, he, he was like, it, it doesn't feel like Brian. Like, like, it feels like something is weird here. Um, which I would agree with. So, like, he, he takes the stance of, like, defend consumer rights but also chill the fuck out guys we have to wait for a response to see what this is it could be anything it could have it could have been fucking it could have been like a deranged employee um it could be literally as something as simple as uh mardon just subscribed what's up mardon oh we got a hype train going here 
Limited time exclusive? I thought we had all the hype train shit. Level one? Why did the hype train reset? Oh shit! We're at level two! Why slide just subscribed? Thanks so much, guys. I guess we get more hype train fucking emotes. I thought we already had them all. Me, M3, I don't know how to pronounce your name, dude. I'm so sorry. We need to get some Bugs Bunny going in here, guys. This is fucking crazy. You got a tight little man <laughs> pussy on you, don't you? <laughs> this fucking, look at those titties on Bugs. Like a double look wide at, look surprise. God oh, damn. I'll get you guys Discord links after. I gotta, I gotta finish my thought first. Thanks so much, everybody, for the subs, though. I really appreciate it. Um, let me let me catch up on the chat, or uh, my thought. What was I saying again? Oh, yeah. It, it could be something literally as simple as um, Brian left his uh, computer unlocked in his office. Like, that happens all the fucking time. At my work, too. Dude, he could have just left his computer unlocked. And somebody could have just gone in there and wrote that fucking email. Like, when he was away or something. I Like, like it, it can be something so... It could be something so dumb like this. Like, or like, um... Uh, phishing. Phishing hack. Like, they, maybe they got his password. Um, could be a hoax could be dude it could be so many things like it could be so many many fucking things but i f i feel like i feel like um because hardware unboxed released the email that quickly um it's probably legit i, I would assume these guys would vet the source first but it feels legit, but because it got released so fast, it also feels very personal. Like, like Brian versus Steve type of shit. We don't know, you know what I mean? So, if that's the case, I would, I would just, just chill your fucking horses, people. Just chill your fucking horses and just wait for a response. You always have to see any intelligent person want to become famous by followers i'm good man i'm gonna ban you for that banned <clears throat> okay yeah what i was gonna say it does it, it you can you can mark a person's intelligence by how they view both points of view right and if they wait for a response so you got jay they're just like oh fuck this guy oh, oh, oh. wants those fucking quit those fucking clickbaits man God, I don't know how that guy gets clicks. He's a good clickbaiter. He's a really good clickbaiter. Um, I feel like NVIDIA saw Hardware Unboxed first video and missed the part where he said, no, you know what it was? You know what it was, David? I know exactly why NVIDIA did that. Um, uh, they at Hardware Unboxed did a, um, a monthly... Q and A. They have like a multi multi video series Q and A all the time. And in one of the Q and As, they talked about. So the topic of ten gigabyte versus sixteen gigabyte came up, and they talked about this for like thirty minutes. Um, and uh, the the not the synopsis the. The conclusion that they came to was you should buy 16 gigabyte uh, 1600 XT over the 3080 10 gigabyte because um, we don't know if ray tracing is going to take off as much, but history has told us that VRAM is going to be more important going into the future than uh, a feature we don't know about. I remember them saying that and... Um, I remember, and I, I remember thinking to myself, I'm like, that's a really good point. I, I wouldn't agree with that, but I can see exactly how they would come to that conclusion. They, they literally said, don't buy this, buy this instead, because um, this is more future proof, uh, future proof. Um, and then I remember thinking it, does, it doesn't have any of the features. Like, I, like I was kind of, 
I don't know where I land on that argument, to be honest, but I remember them saying that, and then I remember thinking, oh, our 3080 would be a way better buy, I think, right? I'm pretty sure that's why NVIDIA sent that email, because of what this conversation was, this specific conversation. Because as soon as I saw, as soon as I saw that hardware unboxed uh, tweet, as soon as I saw that hardware unboxed tweet, this is the first thing that popped into my head. I'm like, ah, it, it wasn't so much the reviews because they did review DLSS. They, they, they did do all those reviews and stuff. It was this conversation that did it. I'm pretty sure. That's what I would bank my money on. Go, go back and watch those Q&As. Go back and watch them. Um... Uh, I, ca I can't remember exactly what he said, but something something that Steve said in that Q&A, or was it Tim? I don't remember now. Something that they said in that Q&A triggered my brain saying, oh, NVIDIA's not going to like that. I remember, dude. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I remember some... I'll have to go back and watch it later. I remember. Um, Linus is a presenter? Yeah, exactly. He doesn't exactly like hardware unboxed. Why not? Rems cheered a thousand. You didn't say anything, Rems. Thanks so much for the bits, dude. That's insane. Um, Jay's talked about how he has had problems with video before, but never had it like this. Jay's, Jay's two cents is too big, though. Um... Yeah, Steve, Steve responded in the proper way. I agree. He didn't, he didn't get emotional. Steve, Gamers Nexus is very good about not getting emotional. That's, I, and Linus is too. Um, and you know, in a, like, like, like Linus gets angry, but he collects his thoughts in a very, very intelligent way as he's angry and poor, he portrays them. He portrays his thoughts in a very unemotional way, but you can tell he's, it's very, it's hard to describe. He's angry, but he's not portraying the information to you in an emotional way. He he tells you how it is in a factual, logical way, right? GN just doesn't get angry at all. Like, like he does, but he's like calm about it. He's like calm, angry. Jay's two cents is just a fucking idiot. And uh, Steve from Hardware Unboxed gets really fucking salty. That's a salty ass dude, dude. Hardware, um, so like, I can see, you know, it's, it's, it's not a coincidence that Hardware Unboxed is always the center of controversy, dude. Always. Every fucking six months, these guys have some fucking controversy going on. It's not rocket science, dude. They're just, Steve is a really salty motherfucker, dude. He gets salty, like, like, like. I can't even imagine how fuck like he probably like you know what I mean I wait for both sides of the coin like you know how you remember I'm not sure who's in the discord here but like I was contacting EK about getting some like products and they were like you need 50,000 subs um on your YouTube channel before before we will even talk to you I'm like Fuck. So on the one hand, I was pretty damn salty at EK. On the other hand, I fucking get it. I'm like a channel with 3,000 fucking subs. I mean, I mean jack shit, right? But when I hit 50,000 subs, don't think I'm gonna forget that shit, EK. I'll never fucking forget that shit. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna email them and be like, fuck you guys. I deserve better than this. I'm like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I just, le I just left it. You know what I mean? Hardware unboxed, on the other hand, who fucking knows what kind of responses that Steve guy would fucking... Dude, he's a salty motherfucker, dude. He's a salty dude. You can tell he's salty. And when he thinks he's right, I don't think you can probably convince him otherwise, to be honest. Um. Oh, yeah, Goose, Goose, um... My wife wants to play PUBG, dude. She's sick of Warzone. And then she asked me if I wanted to play PUBG. I'm like, I haven't played PUBG in fucking years. I can't play anymore. And then uh, she's like, none of her COD friends want to play PUBG. So I'm like, oh, maybe Goose Cartel would want to play PUBG with us. So that's why I messaged you. I'm like, let's. So later today, if you're down, we'll play some PUBG, dude. Because my wife really wants to play PUBG. She loves PUBG. Um. 
Uh, let me catch up on the chat here. Subbed on PayPal. I'll get to you, Mo Power. I'll get to you. I'll get some links out pretty quickly here. Newman, are you here? Newman, can you take care of links for me for now? Because I can't, ca I can't catch up on the chat here. Uh, uh, let me catch up on the chat. Um, holy shit, I'm far behind. Just one sec, guys. It did seem true because of the corporate stuff. I I agree, but it also felt personal. You can you can you know if you're if you're in corporate speak, corporate speak has a whole different like dictionary. You can be a really salty piece of shit, but word everything in a very corporate way to not get in trouble. People have mastered this shit, dude. You can't just be like fuck you in an email. You'll get like written up. But I don't even know how to, how would you say in corporate speak? You go, um, uh, I politely disagree with your thoughts, kind regards, like all this fucking crazy ass jargon, dude. But essentially what this is, is fuck you. Like, like, but you can't get in trouble for saying this, dude. That's exactly, per my previous email. Yeah, 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 dude. There's all these little... Dude, oh my god, dude, corporate speak is fucking hilarious, dude. Co corporate speak is the shit, dude. So like, even like, like Linus goes through all that shit too. He's like, even though uh, he, they don't say fuck you, it's literally the entire email is fuck you, dude. It's like get in line or fuck off kind of thing, right? Corporate speak is fucking hilarious, dude. Um, On this note though, I don't think I'm ever gonna be doing product reviews, man. And with my experience with EK and Alpha Cool and all this shit, I don't think product reviews are for me, man. I don't wanna deal with corporations. I don't wanna deal with people telling me how to do things on my channel that I wanna do. Like, I don't fucking like that shit, dude. That might, that, that might hurt my growth and my, uh, and my monetary gain in the long haul, but I, I don't, I don't want to do something that I don't love anymore. You know, I've, I've been, I'm like, I'm 35 years old. I've been working my fucking ass off. Well, not even, I mean, I mean, I don't work very hard, but I've been working my ass off for like 20 fucking years doing what other people want. I didn't get into YouTube to have another company tell me how to run my channel. Like, it's so fucked up, dude. I'm, I'm not down. I'm not down. For what, a couple of thousand dollars? I don't fucking care, I don't care. All you need is enough money to just buy what you wanna buy, live comfortably. Like, you have to, you have to, it's it's all about being happy. It's, if you can pay your bills and, and you have food on the table and you have a shelter over your head, that's all you need, man. You have to stay humble with your, with your money. Um, yeah, David, you know what I'm talking about, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, Hardware Unbox showed overclocked AMD cards compared to stock Ampere cards. I thought that made them look good. Because an overclocked 6800 XT, like a fucking a 2800 megahertz 6800 XT didn't beat a stock 3090, dude. I thought that made an, I was like, holy shit, like fucking Big Navi sucks, dude. I thought that was like the opposite, but that's how I interpreted that though. I can see, I can see how they would interpret that the other way. Um, I, uh, Hardware Unboxed has a, Hardware Unboxed is a very pro AMD channel though. It's a little too much for me. It's it's too much to the point where they're using a 3950X as their test bench with 3200 megahertz RAM and then they test in 1080p and literally anything from a 2080 up all gets the same FPS and then they're like, oh, Ampere doesn't scale in 1080p. I'm like, come on guys, what the fuck? You what the fuck? It, 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 it just, it makes NVIDIA look bad from their own negligence a little bit. You're like, this is fucking ridiculous, dude. I don't know. That, that, that seems, that seems really, um... 
when you when you watch hardware unboxed reviews you shouldn't be watching them from a standpoint of like the be-all end-all performance of a cpu you have to look at them from a, per a performance standpoint of if I had a 3950X with 3200 megahertz RAM, that is the performance I would get. You can't look at those numbers from like a GPU, like, like their GPU benchmarks are what would happen if it was bottlenecked by this. That's what those numbers are all about. It's not, they're not actual GPU benchmarks, right? Um. Uh, can I catch up on the chat here? I saw that too, Mo Power. That's fucked up. I think they took that down. Uh. <laughs> Steve was angry at the AMD bike. <laughs> sure, obviously. Nightcrawl gifted cryogenic a sub. Dude, whoa, fucking five? Gifting five tier one subs, dude. Holy shit. Are you on the Discord, Nycrod? Five fucking subs, dude. Five subs. Thanks so much, Nycrod. Holy shit, bro. That's insane. <laughs> this isn't even my final form. I really appreciate it, dude. Thanks so much. Let me catch up on the chat here. Um... I ran the hex code on Cyberpunk and it fully works. Did it not utilize all cores before or something? Um Yeah, so if I if I if I generate enough revenue through consults, it would be nice to not have to do consults. These piss me off a lot more. Even though the money is really good. I I get people that are a little too entry level for my liking like like if i have to video chat like i'm, I'm getting a lot of people okay you, you know what you know what's interesting you know what's really interesting about the consults actually the more money the person has um the more rich the person is the less they know about technology so i have people that literally have like ten thousand dollar rigs from fucking um uh what's that company that's always on linus's channel digital storm i have clients that fucking buy ten thousand dollar digital storm machines and i'm like can you go into the bios for me like, wh like what's a bios i'm like fuck like fuck so like so like i have to video chat and and guide the, I, I, can't, I can't just be like can you change your uh dram voltage to 1.45 volts they're like what's dram voltage what's the bios where do i go to set this and then and then it, like like i'll be like okay type in 1.45 they're like it doesn't work i'm like fuck i'm like change from auto to manual then they're like, it still doesn't work. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, when you change it from auto to manual, you have to go down to the next field, then type in 1.45. Oh my God, dude. It's a little too entry level for me. It, the money is really good, but anonymous tip $10. Oh, thanks, dude. You don't have to be anonymous though. Put a nice message in there. One man pussy. Oh, hang on. man pussy. Got you, my friend. Gotcha. Of course it was, Mella. You got a tight little man pussy on you, don't you? <laughs> that's, that's, you, you can think of like Bugs Bunny as fucking uh, NVIDIA and then like Elmer Fudd as Hardware Unboxed, dude. This is <laughs> hopping down the old bunny trail. Dude, 100% El Hardware Unboxed is like, and then NVIDIA's just like fucking squeezing that ass, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna fucking rape you. Um... Hang on. Oh yeah, so yeah, the consults are. If I can generate enough enough revenue through, I think I just need like 10k subs to to be able to do it. But if I can generate enough revenue and turn off the consults, that is my goal. Generate enough revenue to just buy products that I need to review them. That's it. Like if if I can if I can get enough money in the bank to be able to review Rocket Lake, 
cool. And then uh, Alder Lake and Zen 4. If I can just like have enough buffer fund to buy those products on release to review them, that's all I need uh, in terms of money. And I don't want to do consults anymore because they're... Holy shit, dude. They're... They... I, I I almost need to have like two tiers of consult. It's like it's like I need like a questionnaire, like a, like a fucking quest. It's like can can you answer these questions? If no, four hundred dollars. If yes, two hundred dollars. Because the guy that doesn't know how to go into the BIOS takes way more fucking time to get done than someone who's actually kind of savvy. Like I've had people, I've had people that have taken literally five minutes to finish. You know what I mean? But I've had so oh fuck, I shouldn't have closed that. Man, you know what I mean? Um What's your thoughts on the hardware unboxed email from we're just talking about that right now, dude. Um Oh, I didn't know that. I see that's another thing why I don't I don't recommend dude, notepad. Do not recommend Zen to your friends. Don't do it, man. Don't fucking do it. It's, it's, with, with my 5950X, it is fast. Don't get me wrong. It's fucking very, very fast. It took me two days to tweak it. Me. Think about that. Wh how long is it going to take your friend to tweak that? And on top of that, what, um, Cybangas is saying, you have to do a hex edit to get it to play properly in Cyberpunk. Don't recommend this to your friends, guys. It like doing this, doing this for us is one thing. Doing this for your friends, your pleb fucking peasant friends is a completely different fucking manner, dude. You just get a 10900K, you slap that shit in, it works for fucking everything. You don't have to worry about it. Oh my god, dude. I can never, ever, ever recommend AMD products in my fucking Discord. Or my friends, for that matter, dude. Just don't fucking do it. Holy shit, dude. Um... Oh, I don't disagree, Cybangas. I don't get to, I don't... I'm not gonna... I haven't had a consult for Cyberpunk. I would assume people don't have the GPUs. But now that I know that, thanks, I guess. I'm not gonna. I, I would never play a an an, uh, an unoptimized single player game. Never play this on a Ryzen system. Always play it on Intel because Intel can brute force clock speed. Always uh, a shitty ass fucking console port. You can brute force it. Emulators, um, CMU. Uh, Wii U emulator, all these emulators, you can brute force with Intel chips. Always, dude. Don't use fucking Zen for any of that shit. Um. Hang on, I'm just catching up on the chat here. Bump the price. Um, the price is fair, I think. $100 was too cheap. Uh, initially, when I was charging $100, it was a little too cheap. I was getting way too busy. And then when I upped it to $200, I get about one customer every two or three days now. I, I That's a good ratio. But maybe maybe when I collect enough buffer money, I might up it to like $250 or $300. Just to... Just to wean off... The people a little bit you know what i mean I, I don't or maybe i'll do a questionnaire or something i don't know dude like these people these ten thousand dollar digital storm customers are fucking killing me dude um i don't play single player games on uh zen chip cybangas fuck that shit i don't need no hex edit shit um I was thinking of going to ask you about getting one. About getting a what, Y slide? Tiered consults are a good idea, but how do you tell someone that they're dumb and I have to charge them more? That's hard. It's hard. Ah, uh, and you can't all you you also can't go hourly either because sometimes uh it's very strange. OX Beast Mode just subscribe. Thanks, man. What's up, dude? OX Beast Mode. Um, I haven't watched Jay's Two Cents video yet. Ah. I already know that guy's kind of a hothead, though, but I'll probably watch it later. 
I'm much more interested in Nvidia's response to all this. Like, like their public response. That's what I want to know, dude. I don't care about fucking tech reviewer. Like, like the tech reviewers. So, so the 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 counterpoint is, Nvidia can do whatever they want. They can do whatever the fuck they want, dude. Just, just because a bunch of fucking nerds on YouTube band together and complain, and they can do whatever the fuck they want. The reason why they're banding together is be uh, job security. That's it. They need they, like, 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 if all that, like, like, they're, they're, they're all firing shots at Nvidia, um, trying to band together as like a union. At kind of like, kind of like, um, you can't fire us all. But they can. Oh, NVIDIA can. That's what they're fucking wrong. Lisa, I can't read what the fucking message said. I have to like, I have to move my notepad out of the way. It's too bright. I heard something about, okay, I, fuck. What did the message say, Mel, uh, Mela? I know it's you, Mela. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, so they're, they're pretty much going under the stance of um, You can't fire us all if we all complain, right? So the reason why they want job security is If one tech reviewer is Linus goes through all the go watch Linus's video um, I'm not gonna rehash it But essentially Nvidia is blacklisting someone from doing their job. So if they all band together as a union um then they kind of they're doing job security but what i was saying in the discord last night what's stopping nvidia from targeting influencers instead tim the tatman dr disrespect like these fucking people dude pokimane um xqc sponge is now following sub sponge shroud yeah shroud exactly if NVIDIA gives cards to these people instead of hardware unboxing, you know how much return on investment? These people have way more sales potential than fucking Linus and Jay's Two Cents and shit. Holy fuck, dude. So, oh, I don't, oh yeah. I, I, un I understand why the tech reviewers are banding together. Like, I get it. Um, I don't know if I would if I was in their situation. Hardware Unboxed had too many AMD fanboys must pay. Yeah, exactly, dude. Um, oh, yeah, exactly. Um, you like, like... Nvidia can just be like fuck all you tech reviewers you guys tech you guys review stuff objectively Which we don't fucking care about that shit. Let's give it to shroud. He's gonna play cyberpunk on day one and and Shroud gets access to cyberpunk a day early to play on twitch He was he was playing cyberpunk a day early on twitch Nvidia can give him a 3090 a day before they can do ray trade. Like, dude, this is a way smarter move for NVIDIA. Holy shit, dude. Fuck Linus. Fuck fucking Jay's Two Cents and Hardware on Bot. Those guys aren't gamers. They're not gamers. They're fucking hardware reviewers. You know what I mean? Fuck that shit. If I was NVIDIA, I would be going this route, dude. Which I think they are. I think... I think... And the writing was on the wall when they sent a 3090 to that other dude that had no idea what the fuck tech was. That skater fucking bro guy. Whatever his name was. I have no fucking idea. They gave one to Linus and one to that other guy. The two biggest tech, inf or not tech, influencers in the tech space. Who was that guy's fucking name? Um, Catching up on the chat here. Mello, you need a consult? I would probably do it for free for you, Mello. You've given me more than $200, dude. 
Yeah, you give me way more than enough money, Mel. I don't, you don't have to pay me, my, my, my man. I'm pretty sure you've given me more than like $500 in the last like couple of months, dude. I owe you a lot. I'd be happy to do that for you, dude. Um, Catching up on the chat here. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Newman. That's a good idea. Oh, dude. Oh, Newman. You should post it in general chat because... uh. I, I like I like seeing people try to click on it and then ban them. That's actually just like good content. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nvidia can do whatever the fuck they want, dude. I would be un unless you're Linus, because Linus, the all on the other token, what I was gonna say. Um, NVIDIA has to be careful on the other hand because if they don't send Linus, let's say, let's say they don't send Linus a 3090 review sample for, for review day, Linus can get one on his own. He has the clout and the connections for it, right? Then Linus isn't under embargo either. Linus can release a video days before the embargo drops and just fucking like 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 Linus has the power to fuck over all of Nvidia's embargoes at the same time. So they have to be careful on that front. And then then you, they can just do the GN thing where they black out the serial number, right? Um yeah, but yeah, but you, they'll they'll get they'll get the driver as well, dude. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, like, like, even the even the press drivers. I'm sure Linus will get it, or they have they have people that are smart enough to hack the drivers anyway, dude. They have some fuck. Like, I don't know, dude. Linus, if. If Nvidia did this to Linus, I'm pretty sure this guy would do whatever it fucking took to fight back as hard as possible. He would go, he would hire like fucking, uh, what, 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 what's that hacking group that hacked the fucking Pentagon or whatever, um, Anonymous or whatever. He would fucking hire Anonymous to hack Nvidia drivers, dude, to get access to fucking fuck Nvidia over, dude. So, so, uh, Nvidia can do whatever they want. But you might not want to fuck this guy over either, right? It's it's in Nvidia's best interest to embargo Linus. Uh, it, you know what I mean? It. I'm sure Nvidia is smart enough to know about that stuff. They know. They know. Hardware on box doesn't have the connections like Linus does. So it's one thing to blacklist hardware on box and J's two cents and shit. You can't blacklist Linus. Um. Catching up on the chat here, guys. <laughs> Chamber watches XQC, I see. Oh, I fucking love XQC, dude. He's such a shit show. Um, catching up on the chat here. Uh, you can if you if you um, you you if you tip me, you can put whatever message or name you want, dude. That's the fun part of tipping. You can literally put whatever the hell you want for a tip. Um, catching up on the chat here. I don't have the connections to fuck over Nvidia, dude. I also don't care. I I still would rather I if if it comes to drama or gaming, I have games to play, dude. It's it's so like if we're if we're on stream right now, it's fun to discuss this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? It's fun to talk about it. But as soon as we're done here, the drama's completely out of my fucking mind, and I'm back to gaming, dude. I don't fucking care. I I don't give a so who was saying that I should make a public a public statement about the situation? I'm like, dude, I don't fucking care. You you guys know me. Take care of yourself. That's it. And I don't get review samples. People, people that value my reviews are just going to wait to buy until I can get one. And, and usually I can get one on day one anyway. 
usually i have a connection at, at this one store uh, locally right so i can usually get stuff day one anyway if i just pay for it and if my viewers value my opinion they'll just wait to buy it i i don't i don't have any so this entire issue of um review samples i don't give a rat's ass about i don't give a shit dude i really don't care uh oh i gotta hit record button Linus doesn't ca I agree, yeah. He doesn't cash in on drama, dude. Um... Linus doesn't shill. He does sponsored content. That's not shilling. That's getting a paycheck. Uh, I guess it depends on what your definition of shilling is. Like, like... If, if, if Linus gets a hundred grand from NVIDIA and a TV to do sponsored content, that's fine. He puts sponsored content in the video. I've, 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 I've said this before in other streams too. It's not his fucking problem, dude. It's not his problem. Just, just because millions of people choose to ignore that little message that says sponsored content... It's not his problem, and NVIDIA knows that. That's why they're targeting influencers. People are fucking dumb, dude. They're dumb as bricks, and they're sheep. They buy what they're told. That's it. Li it's not... Linus... Linus isn't... He's not there to... Um, like, it's, it's not his job to stop you from smoking cigarettes. It's his job to advertise cigarettes. It's up to you to know how bad these are for you. That's it. I don't see a problem with that at all, dude. I don't see a problem with that at all. Where he has a problem is if all this, all the cigarette companies are burying each other to only have one cigarette company. So the, 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 the customer only has one choice of cigarettes. That's where his fucking issue lies. His issue isn't that you're an idiot and then that you're smoking cigarettes. You know what I mean? That's the same fucking, that's the same analogy that I can kind of draw up from that. He doesn't fucking care that you're an idiot and that you smoke cigarettes. He's not a fucking life coach. You know what I mean? That's not his problem. He has bigger things to worry about than your stupidity. You know what I mean? That's why I just ban people. And, um, you know, people like, um, uh, not an Apple fan and, uh, adored TV. These guys are kind of the, on the other side of the fence where, um, or, or, uh, good old gamer. Uh, these guys or, or Cortex, all these guys, they, um, it's their personal mission to fix stupidity you can't it's a losing battle dude you can't you can't fuck if if any of these guys watch my channel or whatever just 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 save yourself the anxiety and the stress and just ban just ban that's it just ban them that's it's literally the like like if i see stupidity in the discord or on my youtube i just click the button i don't worry about it just click it it's not your job it's who fucking cares dude who fucking cares people are so fucking stupid in the hardware space and online in general just click the button and don't worry about it just click that fucking button dude it alleviates all problems all problems are gone when when someone is in the discord and they say something stupid i'm like can you verify a source of your stupidity? And if they can't, click the button. Get them out of there. Get them the fuck out of there, dude. I don't... There's no time. There's no time. And if they resort to insults, if they resort to uh, personal attacks, that's how you know they've lost the argument. As soon as somebody gets defensive and resorts to personal attacks, hit the button. That means that means they are no longer interested in proving their point and be and having intelligent debate. Click the fucking button. Click it. Just get him out of there. Get him out of there, dude. 
They, there's no, you, you're never, you're never gonna, you're never gonna change this person's mentality. Just ban. Banning is the easiest fucking thing on the, on the world, dude. Uh, you can, don't worry about your subscriber numbers. Just fucking ban that shit. Get him out of there.